Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Find a value of x such that the following is true. We have the product of several terms equal to 4 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. The terms are the following. We have the quantity 3 plus 4 times the quantity 3 squared plus 4 squared times the quantity 3 to the power of 4 plus 4 to the power of 4 times the quantity 3 to the power of 8 plus 4 to the power of 8 times the quantity 3 to the power of 16 plus 4 to the power of 16 times the quantity 3 to the power of 32 plus 4 to the power of 32. I want to thank Ben Craft for sending me the problem and its solution. And I also want to thank NAR235 and Jonathan Love for pointing out a mistake in an earlier version of this video. That wording asked to solve 4 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of y, but that version of the problem has infinitely many solutions. So, can you find a value of x that works for this equation? Give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So we just need to find one value of x that works. The key to this problem is the difference of squares formula. The quantity a minus b times the quantity a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So the first thing we'll do is we'll reverse the order of addition in each binomial. Now, we will multiply both sides by the quantity 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. On the right-hand side, we'll simplify this 4 minus 3 and make it equal to 1. So the right-hand side, we still have 4 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x. But on the left-hand side, this quantity 4 minus 3 serves another purpose. If you look at the first two terms, the quantity 4 minus 3 times the quantity 4 plus 3, notice this product is a difference of squares. So this simplifies to be 4 squared minus 3 squared. And now we have a domino effect on the rest of the terms. Look at the first two terms in this product. We have the quantity 4 squared minus 3 squared times the quantity 4 squared plus 3 squared. This is another difference of squares. So we get 4 to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4. And now if you look at the next term, we have another difference of squares. We'll end up simplifying to be 4 to the power of 8 minus 3 to the power of 8. And we do this one more time. The first two terms, again, will simplify to be the difference of squares. So we have 4 to the power of 16 minus 3 to the power of 16. And we do it once more. So we have 4 to the power of 32 minus 3 to the power of 32. And we're going to do it one last time. So we end up with 4 to the power of 64 minus 3 to the power of 64. And we're done. We found a value, x is equal to 64, that works for this equation. Did you see the trick? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.